So what we normally do is that the person in charge of a team would have the body cam, and uh, he did have the body cam on, but as has been said, the body cam was turned off, and that is a breach of our policy. The 223 expended shells are likely those discharged by the police. The investigation, based on interviews conducted with the police officers, they are saying that neither of them had a 9mm pistol. We're not going to say at this stage without having sufficient proof that the officers were indeed fired upon. Um, we still need to try and ascertain exactly where those two 9mm expended shells came from. And to help us with that aspect of the investigation, um, we are going to submit those shells to the National Forensic Service Ballistic Unit. And they will be able to do the analysis to ascertain if, in fact, those expended shells were fired by any police weapons, as well as if it was discharged by any licensed weapon, because you would know that um, the forensic lab, the ballistic unit, do have fingerprints of every licensed firearm, as well as every police issued weapons. Once we issue a weapon to police officers for use, we normally ensure it is test fired and the expenditure goes to the lab so that they can keep a record of our weapons in their um, um, database system. So I am hoping that through them, we will be able to ascertain. The investigators have interviewed a number of persons and recorded statements from them. But other than the police officers, no one else is saying that they heard any shots fired at the police or they saw anyone fired at the police. We have not come to that as yet.